It is not the will of God for you to be in financial crisis and in financial debt. The poverty spirit is a curse and the devil is a liar. That curse, that sickness, that infirmity is not from God. So God wants you to be free in every aspect of your life because freedom is power. So listen up guys, uh, happy July. I'm feeling the shift. Are you feeling the shift? Are you feeling the glory? Uh, so many people are saying that. And in fact, I'll say this. June was quite a difficult month for me because I felt like I was breaking through into new grounds and new territories. Listen, I know many of you guys, not only were you breaking into a new month, but in the month of June, I believe that you were breaking into a new dimension of the spirit, into a new dimension of the glory of God. That's why many of you, you've been feeling oppressing. You've been feeling uh, like you've been pushing through. It's like you were going through things and you don't understand because uh, there was like this June gloom type of thing, even though we don't believe in the doomsday gospel we believe in the greater glory gospel in jesus name but a lot of us we were going through this like this tearing we were like feeling like we're being torn apart like what's going on lord come on i thought it was pentecost time i thought it was pentecost month i thought it was shavuot time for fire and glory but you know uh, uh, as i was coming down on the airplane uh, and flying down the lord just began to download different things and i got a new perspective someone say a new perspective i got a new perspective i got a fresh vision of of what the Lord did in the month of June. And my gosh, I'm telling you now, I'm filled with hope and faith and encouragement. And I want to stir you guys up that in the month of July, this is what the month of July is about. The month of July is about these four things. I'm going to give you four things that I believe this month of July is going to be marked with and is going to uh, uh, release prophetically in your life and in your spirit. Okay, so share this on your wall. I believe number one. July is a month of fire, okay? I believe July is a month of fire. Why? Because July, of course, uh, uh, tomorrow is 4th of July, Independence Day in America. You know, uh, fire stands for the purification. I believe that God in this month is purifying and purging hearts, getting us ready for the glory and getting us ready for the gold that's about to come from the month of July. You see, everybody wants Jubilee, but uh, you need to be set free from something to enter into Jubilee. You need to uh, you need to be set free from something to enter greater freedom. And I believe in this month of July, the Lord is releasing fire, say fire, because he's purging you, he's refining you, he's cleansing you like the launderer's soap. He's cleansing you like the soap as white as wool. He's cleansing you from all the stuff you you went through in the month of June. I don't know about you, but I, uh, we went to new territories in the month of June. We went to Mongolia, went to China, went to the island of Hawaii. And you know, when you're taking new territories, you need to break things open, which many times, which many times it means that, you know, you're going through uh, weeds or you're going through, uh, you know, the thistles and the thorns. You're, you're breaking through the land of curses. And a lot of times you could feel like you're getting slimed or you could feel like, you know, you got this muck and the mud and the miry clay all throughout you. But I decree that you're coming out of the trenches and now you're coming to greater breakthrough. And so I believe in this month of July, the Lord is releasing fresh fire. Come on now. He's releasing the fuego de Dios, Espiritu Santo. He's releasing fresh fire to purge us afresh and anew from all that you went through in the month of June. So come on right now. If you believe that, lift up your hand and receive the fresh fire of the Lord because it's the fire of God that's going to purge you, cleanse you, make you new and prepare you to be perfect like the gold for what God's about to do and pour out in this month of July. So in this month, expect fresh fire. It's going to purge you, purify you, cleanse you, make you clean, that make you holy and sanctified, and it's going to cause you to burn up every single thing that is not of God in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Second thing I believe that's a month of July is about is it's a month of freedom. Someone say freedom. Come on now. I believe July is a month of independence, not an independent spirit, but a spirit that's fully dependent on the Holy Ghost. And when we're dependent on God, that's how we become separated, set apart, 
consecrated. That's how we set ourselves apart from the rest, from the bunch. And that's what true freedom is. You have been set free as sons and daughters of God. You have been set free as people liberated. Come on. The spirit, all the earth and moaning are going for the manifestation of the liberation. Come on. Of the sons of God. Come on. Is anybody set free from devils, from demons, from infirmity, from sin, from curses, from witchcraft? I declare that you are free. And in this month of July, the Lord is setting free his people from crises, from financial crises, from relational crises. Listen, I know everything that you went through in the month of June. The Lord is now causing you to be free from that because the Lord says, oh, no man, nothing. You owe nobody nothing. You owe nobody nothing except the continuing debt of love. And I believe that God is going to set you free financially. God's going to set you free emotionally, mentally, relationally. Different things that you've been struggling with and struggling through. The Lord is going to put that to a rest. He's going to put that to a cease. Come on. Cease fire. Bam, bam. The Lord is going to cause those lying, deceiving, gossiping, slandering, judgmental, criticizing tongues to sleep. The Lord will close the mouths of lions. And my God who has seen you in the secret, in the public place. He has seen the motives and the agendas and the intentions of your heart so therefore he will vindicate you he will stand up for you and he will set you free from everything that has been trying to bog you down in this month of july it's a month of freedom i am an american i love my nation praise god for president donald trump praise god for the changes the reformations that's happening in america right now and we know that president trump is going to win in 2020 in jesus name come on now because this man of god stands for what every Christian believer stands for, which is truth, which is holiness, which is freedom. Come on now. Come on, Sarah, which is a traditional marriage is biblical truth. God is raising up people who will be trumpets in this place. Come on. And the trumpets, the silver trumpets or the shofar, it stands for freedom, jubilee, jubilation, liberation for the sons of God on the earth in America. And as an American, praise God for what happened in 4th of July in America as we were, uh, as we won the war and, uh, from, uh, you know, Great Britain and as all the war ceased, come on, I declare of your life, the war is ceased. The war is over. The warfare has ended. I declare right now that every single thing that you've been going through, the warfare, the battles, the schisms, the breaks, it's done. It's finished. The Lord has prepared you for this. Get ready to fly. Because only when you're free can you fly. Only when you're free can you fly high, can you jump through, can you dive in. Only when you're free from fear. Only when you're free from others. Only when you're free from a religious spirit and from a political spirit. Only when you are free from those demonic people that are trying to oppress and suppress you. Only when you are free can you enter into the fullness of your destiny. So I believe in this month the Lord is releasing a spirit of freedom. Who the sun sets free is free indeed. Where the truth is the truth shall set you free. Bam, bam, bam. The Lord is releasing freedom over you in this month of July. If you believe it, if you feel it in the spirit of God, in the realm of his presence say amen i also believe in this month of july number three if you're writing notes number three number one is fire i believe july will be marked with fresh fire that will purge and purify and refine you and to be perfect like the gold he's causing you to be purified and purged from all the junk of the last month everything that you went through and now you are experiencing fresh fire someone say fire Number two, I believe July is a month of great freedom where God is setting you financially free. You better hear me, people of God. It is not the will of God for you to be in debt. It is not the will of God for you to be in financial crisis and in financial debt. The poverty spirit is a curse and the devil is a liar. That curse, that sickness, that infirmity is not from God. Only blessings, goodness, kindness, and mercy is from the blood of Jesus. Remember, if it's not in Jesus, then it's not in you. Remember, if it's not in the Holy Ghost, then it's not in you. Remember, if it's not in the heavenly places, then it's not in you. So God wants you to be free in every aspect of your life because freedom is power. Independence is power. If you are enslaved to righteousness, then you are empowered and you are a king and a queen on the earth. I hope you got that. Come on. 
We're slaves to righteousness. That's what the Apostle Paul says. That's what the Bible, the Word of God says. We are slaves to Christ, so therefore we are free in the world. Amen. Number three. I believe July is marked with this. July is marked with fortunes. That's right. Fortunes. F-O-R-T-U-N-E. Fortunes. Come on. This is not the wheel of fortune. No, 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 no. This is the thing of great glory where God is causing you to have rewards and a recompense. Come on. The Lord is spinning the wheel within the wheel and I declare that your clock is way overdue. Your clock has been ticking for the plunder of the enemy, the plundering of the gate, the plundering of the devil. There will be fortunes in this month of July because as you gain freedom, come on, as the Israelites gain freedom from Egypt, from the Egyptians, they retrieved. They regained, they accepted, they became the fortunes that they were meant to be. You better hear me now. You cannot receive fortunes if you are not free from what's binding you down. So once you experience freedom, you will gain fortune. Why do you want to receive fortune if you're still not free? Why do you want to receive blessings if you're still acting like an orphan? Why do you want to drive a new Ferrari, a new Mercedes Benz, if you still don't know how to drive clearly and you're still acting like a poor person? Listen, God wants to upgrade your stewardship and your ownership. He wants to upgrade your vision and your perception. And he wants to upgrade. Come on, someone say upgrade. He wants to upgrade your ability to have self-control. Hello there. So that you can enter into greater fortunes. I believe that July is a month of fortunes. Because of what you went through, you will be able to handle what God's going to give you. Because you endured the last season, you will be able to endure the pressure and the weight of glory in this season. Because you did not forfeit the battle, you did not opt and cop out in temptation, and you did not put in the towel, even though when you had the chance in the last season, so therefore you will be able to hold up the, uh, the heavyweight champion, the medal, the belt of what you are coming into in this season. Oh, I know I'm talking to somebody. Oh, I know I'm preaching to somebody. Shut up also. July is a month of fortunes, people of God. It is fortunate that you're not dead. It is fortunate that you are alive. It is fortunate that you are breathing. It is fortunate that you can see. It is fortunate that you got the Holy Ghost. It is fortunate that you're watching this Facebook Live. It is fortunate that we have internet. It is fortunate that you got Wi-Fi, that you have an iPhone. It is fortunate that you are a believer, that you are an American. Come on. It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. You are about to gain fortunes in this month of July. I'm telling you people of God, why? Because only when you are free will you have power. Only when you have freedom can you have power. Your emancipation leads you to empowerment. Your emancipation leads you to empowerment. God wants you to have fortunes, not just on this earth, but in the life after. But he wants you to have heavenly fortune, heavenly rewards, heavenly gain, recompense, retribution because of what you've gone through. Amen. So I believe in this month of July, the Lord's about to give you fortune. Come on now. Lands, properties, possessions, health. Mental well-being. It is well with my soul. It is well with me as it is with my soul. He's about to give you fortunes, prosperity, health, power. Your prophetic gifting will increase. Your visionary insight, your seer realm gifting will increase. Come on. Your relational favor is going to become an asset, no longer a liability. It's going to be luggages, no longer baggages. You're going to be moving forward, no longer backwards. You're going to increase and not just decrease. You're going to reap and not just sow. I believe in this month of July, you're going to have fortunes. I'm telling you people, I got some will say fortunes. It is fortunate for you to be alive. Zaborombo. It is fortunate for you to be an American. Come on now. 
And the fourth thing I want to declare over you, I believe in this month of July, it is a month of family. Someone say family. If you're taking notes, write down family. All right. I, uh, we all know that uh, Independence Month or the 4th of July here in America, you know, it, it stood for a time where uh, all of the 13 colonies came into unity. Someone say unity. U-N-I-T-Y. It came into unity because, you better hear me now, because the 13 colonies understood that they had one common enemy. It was not themselves, but it was Great Britain. It's not the enemy of the church within, but it's the enemy, the devil that's outside. So once we become unified, then we can enter into being glorified. Once we become one as the 13 colonies were, then we will experience true family. And once you have unity and family, you will have glory and multiplication and dominion. The reason why we lack glory is because we have so much disunity in the church. But once we deal with our heart issues and we really become family, not just in the wineskin, but in the wine. And not just in talk, but in our walk. And not just by what we say, but what we pay the price for. And once we become family, family, then we will experience great glory. And I believe in this month of July, God's releasing the spirit of familia por vida. God's releasing the spirit of family because there's a spirit of unity that's coming forth in the month of July. I know in the last month of June, you better hear me. Many of you felt like you were retreating, you were retracking, you were backtracking, going back into the caves, going into your prayer closet. Getting covered and hidden in the secret place. Come on. In the month of June, many of you, you felt like you were being clothed and baptized in fire and glory. Personally, one on one with you and Yah, just himself and no other crowds and no other people all around. But now in the month of July, the Lord is saying, because of what you went through in the month of July. Now in this month, in the month of July, in this new month, now you're coming into a greater corporate glory. Because of what you went through in the last season, now you will enter into something bigger and greater and more glorious with everybody else because you did not forfeit the personal time in the last month. Now in this month, I will cause you to reap and celebrate and enjoy with one another. Come on, because it's a time of harvest and when you harvest, you celebrate. When you harvest, you eat. When you harvest, you wine and dine. You feast. You thank God in the public place. You thank God with your neighbor. You go ahead and you feed the poor. Go ahead. You go ahead and you feed the blessing. You feed the poor and the orphans and you bless those that are needy. And that's fortunate. That's what you do. Because when you reap, everybody eats with you as well. So I believe July is a month of family. The Lord's going to release family miracles, family blessings, family glory, family impartation, family encounters. The Lord is going to release blessings on your family. It shall run it over your head, through your beard. It will come down all the way to your very tippy toes. Oh, Sarabahaya. In the month of July, the Lord is going to bless your family because He loves your family. He's not mad at your family. The promise is for you and your family and all of your cousins and all of your aunties, all of your uncles that are far, far, far away in a galaxy far beyond. The Lord wants to bless you because as you individually, personally get free, then your whole family will come into that glory. Your whole family is about to experience blessings. These are the four F's. Four prophetic words that I believe is going to encompass and mark the month of July. Fire, freedom, fortune, and family. I declare that your grieving has ended and your joy is coming. I declare that your gloom has ended and it's time for you to go vroom vroom. I declare that your sadness is over and you are now going to come into gladness. I declare that the Lord is giving you clarity. The Lord is giving you sharpness. Amen. Come on, Jesus said, watch and pray. Come on, Jesus said, be sober and be vigilant. Come on, Jesus said, be as innocent as a dove and as wise as a serpent. I believe God is going to cause you to have fire, freedom, fortune, and enjoy it with your family. Come on. Enjoy it with your family, people of God. The Lord loves your family. There's a new wineskin that's coming down. 
in this month of July, okay? As the family is a wineskin, but there's a new wineskin that's coming down from heaven. It's so manifesting out of your life, out of your being, out of your spirit, man. And I believe in this month of July, the Lord is going to greatly bless and increase your family with fortune, with freedom, with joy, with blessings, with abundance, with feasting, with gratitude. Because it's a month of freedom. It's a month of independence. Listen, guys, I love you.